So let's talk about blood sugar physiology. Okay, so how does this blood sugar regulate it? So your blood sugar is regulated by hormones, okay? Just so you know, your body is really obsessed with keeping your blood sugar in a very tight zone. It doesn't like much fluctuations, and your body does everything it can to keep it really tight. So it has redundant backup mechanisms through these hormones to do that. If you eat a meal that's got way too much glucose, way too many Gs, like this, that's abnormal because it's not normal for you to encounter that much sugar. So when that happens, your pancreas freaks out, makes a bunch of insulin, <coughs> because the job of insulin is to lower the glucose in your blood by, by transporting into the, the glucose into the cell. But when you have a bunch of, bunch of insulin, then this receptor, instead of being open, becomes more closed like a valve that control how much flows in, if you have way too many insulin, the valve will actually shut down to not let so much insulin and glucose in. This is called insulin resistance. What happens to your blood sugar level? Goes up, right? So this is where you get high blood sugar like this, and people get so high they become diabetic because they go over the 126. But as the, as the glucose level in the blood is high, what's happening to the glucose level in the cell? Because it's all stuck outside, nothing's getting in. So then the your cell then, if it doesn't have glucose, what happens to it? Does it make energy or does it make energy? It cannot make energy because you have no fuel, right? Fuel delivery.